Well, here we go, Francesco. Check okay. this one out. Yeah. You wouldn't believe it. Two residents in two weeks told me about this hive. Okay. So you've got that? Yep. Okay. Now, what I've done is I've got a normal hive, this box and this box. Mm -hmm. But I've also bought a honey collector box, a third box. Yep. And the whole idea of the third box is any sort of loose food supplies we're yep. going to put in it. Okay. Okay, so that's going to go like that. And here's our, this is where we'll put any food supplies. Perfect, and the lid. Like that. Today's a very special episode. We're going to do a pit rescue. What's a pit rescue? It's where a beehive, a stingless native beehive, has located itself in a pit in the ground. There's a big problem with this. The telecom people come along every so often and go, oh, what's in our pit? Let's get rid of it, and they destroy it. We're actually saving the hive. With me, I've got Francesco. Francesco is a PhD student. Francesco. Francisco Garcia Bueno, and I'm studying currently my PhD at the University of Sydney. And I am focusing on bee reproductive behavior. So the plan is we're going to rescue this hive. We're going to put the rescued hive in this box. You're going to take this box to Sydney University. You're going to look after the hive. And when it's healthy and well, you're going to let me know and we'll yeah. relocate it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. You're good with that plan? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, like let's yeah. go. Let's do it. Okay, what we're going to do, we've got a little crowbar. We're going to lever it up if we can. That's going to be plan A. If we can't do that, we're going to use the crowbar to lever it from the side. Okay. Okay, Francesco, let's put some gloves on because this could be quite a messy little undertaking. And it's good for hygiene too. Good. Which is the code we live by. Yeah. Okay, this is ready. It's the whole thing will lift because the steel will keep it together. Okay. Okay, go. Ready. Oof. Beautiful. Okay, so the problem we have is how are we going to remove it? So the most important thing when handling a colony is to keep the brood safe. Sure. The brood is where all the larvae are. So here you can see the nice spiral shape that the species make. Now you can see the open, the open cells, the cells without a lid. We can see that there are some cells that are open. That means that they have a healthy queen that is laying eggs. And she normally lays around 200 to 300 eggs per day. So around the hive, we will have all the pollen and the honey pots, and that's where they store all their food. So you know when a hive is healthy, when they have a lot of these pots around the brood. So we can see that this hive has been sitting around for a long time because they have a lot of pollen and honey pots around it. So how are we going to get enough bees to go with us? I think we're going to have to leave the colony here, putting the box inside so all the foragers come back to the box. And then in the night, when the foragers are in, you can take the box. And... See, my inclination is to actually take the whole thing away. <sighs> but all the foragers? Yeah. You won't lose them, them all. No, not all, but a lot. It's just it's going to be really hard to fit that in with that cable there. True. What if we put it on top of it. If we seal it, wouldn't a lot of the foragers come back in there? How long are you planning to leave the box here? Oh, 20 minutes, half an hour. I mean, yes. I guess not the best because you still lose foragers, but... Yeah. But it's not a really strong one because they're not attacking us. Or maybe, what do you reckon? Like, do hives, when hives have a lot of foragers, they always attack more or...? Uh, some seem to be peaceful, some uh, okay. just go for you. I thought that it was related, like population I, and look, aggressiveness. To be but... honest, I don't know, but I <laughs> suspect sometimes healthy hives aren't aggressive. Yeah, because maybe it's like honeybees. Yeah. They are just like a genetic temperament. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking even though the best thing to do would be to put it in a box and leave it till this evening. Yeah. The cable sort of is gonna make it hard to put the box in. I'm thinking let's cut the box away, mm -hmm. put the brood and whatever in the box. Yeah. Seal it up and let the foraging bees actually fly back into the hive, the new hive. Yeah. Do how, you think that'll work? Yeah, how long are you planning to leave the box? Oh, as long as it takes. Okay, so now what we will do is to save the brood. So what I will do is to cut the edges around it, then cut below and put it in the box so we keep it safe. And they like to be underground, right? Yeah, they seem to like it. Yeah. Okay, let's cut out the brood and put yep. it in. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks for watching this EnviroTube. 